Apple's WWDC just went live and, well, let's just say we got a lot less than expected. The always connected PC went live today and we might be able to hook you up with one very soon. It looks like Samsung already set a date for the Galaxy Note 9 Unpacked event. I'm Jaime Rivera and uh, what was your highlight for the weekend? Because I spent it making one of my favorite videos of all time. Stay tuned for that. This is Pocket Now Daily. What I love about events is obviously competition pushing things around with deals. If you're in the market for the Google Pixel 2 XL, it's $150 off. You also get a Google Home Mini. And if you're in the market for the Pixel Book, I still find it expensive, but it's still $250 off. You can learn more in the description. Now, Computex is on its way, and ASUS has just announced a ton of crazy stuff, one of the coolest ones being the ROG phone. It took me a while to figure out that name, but the coolest part, this device uh, maxes the clock speed of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor to 2.96 gigahertz. It's actually a record, and we've got crazy specs. 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage maximum, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and there are other bells and whistles. You can learn more in the description as well. Now let's talk about the always connected PC that also went live today. My advice to you, go to a Microsoft store and have a look. The HP NVX2 and also the ASUS Nova Go go live today. I've actually had one to play with over the last couple of days. There's a video coming soon over my impressions. So far, I'm very impressed with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, and we actually apparently will have a device to give away. Stay tuned for the rules. Uh, it's really worth it. Now, according to Bloomberg, those of you waiting for the Galaxy Note 9 from Samsung, uh, set your calendars for August 9th, as uh, apparently that's going to be the day where we're getting the unpacked event. We don't know exactly when. It's going to be a lot earlier than IFA, uh, which is sad. I actually was expecting to see it in Berlin. But yeah, Galaxy Note 9. Can't wait to see what we get. And finally, um, the hottest news today. Let's call it the hottest because... I don't know, man. WWDC happened today. We get macOS Mojave. We get iOS 12. Apple confirmed they're not merging. They're providing tools in order to be able to help you port applications between operating systems easier. Watch OS 5 has some enhancements in addition to tvOS. Most important with iOS 12, uh, there were changes to AR in addition to other bells and whistles. Probably the one I loved the most was the whole feature of how Do Not Disturb is finally being able to do what I've wanted it to do the most, uh, which is be able to help you schedule when you want the phone to not disturb you in more productive ways, as I don't want to be getting all those notifications, and the company's getting a little more granular on this. Uh, we will let you know more as soon as we have a look at it, as it should be available to developers very soon. Uh, let us know in the comments, what did you think about WWDC? Were you impressed or not? Because I, I considered it a snooze fest, honestly. I felt that a little hardware would have made it better, but Apple was clear at the beginning, only software, and that's what we got. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's PocketNow Daily up here, and you can learn more about our camera impressions of the OnePlus 6 down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.